Hi, my name's Dane and welcome to Five Bookish Facts. Let's go. Okay, so in today's episode, we're gonna be taking a look at Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Roald Dahl. No particular reason other than, uh, I mean, I've read the books obviously, and um, I really wanna go to the Roald Dahl Museum, which is in Great Missington, just round the corner from me. So without further ado, let's go. So when Roald Dahl was a child, he used to love chocolate just as much as Charlie Bucket. Actually, when he was 13 and he was at school, Cadbury's used to send boxes of their chocolates to the school for the pupils to kind of have as an unofficial taste test and to provide their feedback. The young Dahl used to actually fantasize about working in a uh, new chocolate development lab and that's where the idea for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory ultimately came from. Okay, so in the earlier drafts, there were going to be more than just the five kids that we know and love. So obviously there's Mike TV, Charlie Bucket, Augustus Gloop, Veruca Salt, and the other one. But there are also a number of other characters that never made the cut. So those include Wilbur Rice, Tommy Troutbeck, Miranda Mary Piker, Augustus Potty, Elevira Entwistle, Clarence Crump, and Bertie Upside. Dahl released a sequel to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory called Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator, but what people don't necessarily realise is that he was actually working on a third book called Charlie and the White House, and he kind of started writing it, but it was incomplete as of his death in the year 1990. So everyone knows the movie starring Gene Wilder, there was also obviously the remake with Johnny Depp in it as well. Now the original Gene Wilder movie was actually a box office flop, Dahl himself hated the movie and he, he said he didn't want to see any more uh, remakes or anything like that made while he was alive. And then obviously the remake uh, with Johnny Depp came out and the Tim Burton remake, which was 15 years after he died. So, um, yeah. Okay, and the, the fifth and final fact, there's a translation of the book in Scots. It's called uh, Shirley and the Chocolate Works. Sorry about the accent. I'm gonna try and read you the blurb here just to give you an idea of the effort that's gone into this. It's like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, but with uh, train spotting. When Mr. Willy Wonka invites five bands Ben into his world famous chocolate factory, some of them turn out to be spoiled wee bam pots. Yeah, so thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and uh, don't forget to leave a comment as well to suggest an author, a series, a book, a genre, etc., etc. You would like to see an episode of Five Bookish Facts on. And uh, yeah, new episodes every Wednesday. So we'll see you next time. Bye.